Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in a new game for the channel, Lego Brick Tales. That's right, with me on my little mission here at home to rebuild all my childhood Legos, I thought we should do a Lego game. And this is the first one I thought that would be cool to check out. According to the Steam page, it is a uh, puzzle adventure where you use an intuitive brick-by-brick -brick building mechanic mechanic to solve puzzles and bring your creations to life. Experience a charming story as you explore beautiful Lego dioramas and help the people inhabiting them. So let's go ahead and click play and see what's going on in this game. And right off the bat looks like we got some mail here with our little fella here. You got a letter, a rare treasure. What does it say? My grandchild, I hope this letter finds you well. I have made a groundbreaking discovery that I'd like to show you. Also, a helping hand or two can't hurt. The potential of this is incredible. When you arrive at the theme park, take the elevator down to my laboratory. I'll be there waiting for you. All right, looks like we have... What do we got going on on our shirt there? Can we zoom in? Uh, are we like a painter? We got like some red, some gray, some black. Quite a bit going on there. Anyways, looks like we're going into this theme park here. Got a rocket on the gate and it's looking kind of dilapidated. I'm guessing our mission is going to be to rebuild this theme park here. Some more dilapidation over there, some stairs, some destroyed stalls, looks like a broken Ferris wheel, some overgrowth. What is this here, like a, one of those scrambler machines or something? Another broken stall. And I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing this is elevator, so let's go ahead and go on down and see what Grandpa has for us. There he is, hanging out. That hammer there is uh, very precariously placed. Oh, he's Einstein. All right, who's there? Is that you, my child? Oh, wonderful. I didn't expect you so soon. I want to show you this incredible earth shaking. Ah, Grandpa, you hit that hammer. And then hit whatever that is and... Blew, <laughs> blew that up. Wow, okay, we're off to a hot start here in Lego Brick Tales. Well, that was entirely too literal. Are you all right? Hmm. You see, I was in the middle of wiring up my invention, and what you just witnessed is what we in the business call a rapid on-plane disassembly. <laughs> in layman's terms, too much power make big boom. So, not only am I now trapped up here, but it took the whole power grid down with it. We'll need to restart the main generator eventually, but first, could you start the emergency generator? So I'm assuming we gotta go down there and do that. Do you see it over there? Be so kind and turn it on for your grandfather. All right, let's head on down these stairs here. Oh, I just love Legos. Ah, <laughs> oh, I like games like this. Well, Legos in general. Let's turn this generator on. I should have replaced this old thing years ago. Those wires are starting to come unplugged. Go on, throw the lever. And we'll throw the lever there for Grandpa there. And we got the emergency generator up and running. Oh, there's some train tracks over here. Nice, hopefully we get to play off some trains here at some point. Uh, whatever this is, is making a bunch of noise. Wow! Oof. Oh wow, I'm back. The electromagnetic interference must have pulled me back into this dimension. Oh, hello. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that. How can I help you? What? No, I'm not a genie and you don't get three wishes. Your grandfather made me years and years ago. He always called me Rusty, but while I was out there in space, I made new friends and was given the alien name that. You lack the required frequency synthesization modules to pronounce it. Uh, the closest approximation would be blorb de fleeb de. Anyways, but you can call me Rusty. Rusty? I thought you were lost somewhere years ago. Oh yes, I did get lost a bit after you shot me into space, remember? But I saw some wonderful things and now I'm back. How curious. But excellent work, my child. The lights are back on. Based on your problem-solving skills, we could be related. Ha ha. Oh, ha ha. Right you are. We are related. Smart as a whip. Oh, Grandpa is trapped? Yes, let's help him. Let's go. All right, so we are back in control here. Um, and what do we got to do? There's Rusty. All right, looks like we need to get up to the platform. Let's hover up. Oh, wait, you can't. Hmm, that's a conundrum. Ah, hold on. This is the perfect chance to show you what I can do. Let me teach you the power of building, and we'll start by constructing some stairs for you. All right, so what do we got here? We're going to do a little learning. Learn how to manipulate block bricks. All right, let's learn to build. Uh, all right, so click a brick to select it, and then drag the brick to the highlighted area. 
There we go. Now let's click on the next brick and put it up top. Beautiful. All right, let's get out of here, indeed. And then we'll do some building here. So let's go ahead and repair the stairs. This looks easy enough. I'm assuming the blue goes on the red, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom, done. Wow, Rusty, you know how to construct things. How? I don't remember you being capable of that when I made you. Uh, Rusty must have learned a trick or two while he was out in outer space there, Grandpa. I guess 2.21 gigawatts was one too many. Looks like the generator blew some fuses. Replace them. You can assemble replacement fuses if there aren't enough. Of course there aren't going to be enough. All right, let's learn how to rotate some bricks here. All right, select the brick. Uh, click a brick, select it to rotate it, move it to the highlighted area. All right, so we can click R, uh, hold shift to rotate it the other way, uh, and then let's place it over here. All right, fantastic. Moving right along here in Lego Brick Tales. And, oh, we got actually a little bit of a brick challenge here. Uh, oh, we got an example right there. So we probably need to take one of these guys. And then let's take these guys and rotate them into place like that. And there we go. We've made ourselves an extra fuse. All right. Uh, how to control the camera. All right. Find the brick. Uh, drag with the middle mouse button or shift. There's our brick there, and then let's put it into place there, and then let's rotate the camera. Um, okay, by clicking like that, perfect. And then drop that into place like that. Okay. And then let's do ourselves a little more learning, the brick palette. Uh, remove all the bricks inside the dashed line. See that? When you have many bricks, we place them in a palette. Uh, with everything nice and tidy, we can concentrate on building. Try and build a little tower. Okay, so we got three of these four by twos. Stack those up first. And then we got some two by twos here as well. Bada bing, bada boom, all done. Now let's go ahead and repair the generator. So it looks like we got to put the fuses in place. And we're going to use all this knowledge we've learned uh, in these last few. And rotate that. And then we're going to come around like this. Do, do, do. Oops, these controls are a little funky, at least to me. There we go. And that is repaired. And it's spinning back up. All right, great. Now repair those pipes to get the hydraulics going again. But I'm assuming we've got to cross over there first. Uh, brick validity and simulations. All right, when building more complex things, there are some rules to follow. Bricks that are replaced, or excuse me, pre-placed, and can't be modified like these 2x2 two two plates or 2x4 two plates serve as anchors. Rule number one, bricks have to be connected to an anchor, otherwise they are not valid. See the 2x2 two two and 2x4 two bricks? They are not connected to the plates on the bottom, hence they are invalid. Uh, so we need to spin that, put that there. See, now both bricks are valid. Rule two, bricks have to be placed within the dashed lines. See that 2x2 two two brick over there? It is peeking out of the allowed area, so now we need to move it up there. Just like that. Great. Now here's the next cool thing. Uh, it wants us to click play. Oh, so there are some physics. Well, that wasn't it, but we sure can do something about it. So let's go ahead and click back. Uh, place the bricks to support the white plank. All right. Remember, the bricks can't just float in air. They'll have to be val or invalid or they'll vanish. So I'm assuming we have to do this and then do that. And let's go ahead and click play. And look at us there. We prevented it from coming tumbling down. So let's go ahead and I'm assuming build this walkway across the gap. Uh, all right, so this is a little more complicated than we have done the past few. So we got some four by twos, some three by twos, and two by two flat bricks. Um, me thinks maybe something like this. If we do, because it looks level. Uh, let's spin the camera here. Yeah, so if we do this and then that, and that, come on, there we go. And then we'll do that, 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 and then we'll cap it off. Oops, we want that to go back one. And then let's do that and that. That should be enough, yeah? I don't know, let's find out. And the robot has made it across, look at us go. All right, we got another tutorial over here. Learn how to move bricks vertically. All right, select the brick, got it. Press up or E key to move it up. Nice, okay, uh, down or Q, okay, that's easy. Um, press and hold shift and then we should be able to, 
Hold on. Shift. Hold shift while moving the brick to lock its vertical position. Place it on its side. Okay, so like that. Got it. All right. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and put these pipes into place here now. So we got three pipes. Uh, this one looks like it's going to go here. This one looks like it's going to go here. And this one we need to rotate and then bring that up a touch. Beautiful. The hydraulics are in place. Great job, says Grandpa. Uh, now turn the hydraulic machine back on. Look at us building bricks. Ah, oh, like I said, I just love me some Legos. Down in the comments below, let me know what your favorite Lego is out there. Or if you're not a big Lego person, you know, is there a Lego you'd like to build or something like that? I'd love to hear from you guys on that as we turn the hydraulics on and that central piston comes on up. Beautiful. All right, Rusty, what do you got for us? Almost there. We can build something to close the gap. Indeed, we can. And we're going to go all the way over here, it looks like now. I'm guessing this is like the, the final boss of the level. Um, let's just, I want to check out these railroad tracks. Up. Oh, we can't do anything over there. Never mind. All right, let's go ahead and build this. Uh, build a walkway to reach Grandpa's platform. Uh, you can duplicate any bricks. Okay, so we already know that. Great. Uh, this looks like we have to build kind of like a central pillar. And then we're just going to start working our way up like this, one brick at a time. Well, while I'm putting this together, let me know what uh, else is going on in your guys' life. I always love to hear that. Uh, it is Saturday here, December the 8th. I uh, just went to the eye doctor. Nothing issue, just a general checkup. So that's all I really have planned this weekend other than going to the gym here in a little bit. And we'll get Rusty to try that out for us. And perfect there. Thank you so much, Rusty. Let's go ahead and swing around here with the grandson and go talk to Grandpa. Jurassic Park game series, doing well, as always. I know you guys have been really enjoying that, and I think you guys uh, have been enjoying watching that. Rusty, it's you. Where have you been? Oh, no. Where are your arms? The ravages of time and space have destroyed you. Don't be so dramatic, Grandpa. I've been upgraded. You sent me out to explore space, but then I got trapped in a hyperdimensional fold. I was so scared at first. But I met some really friendly aliens who repaired me and let me travel the multiverse with them helping people. They swapped out the multifunctional arms you gave me for zero-point gravity particle generators. Ah, of course, that old three-point guard practical generator. Simple technology for an inventor such as myself. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's great to have you two here. Now, come, let me show you my invention. All right, so Grandpa's going to take us somewhere. Okay, we are up on the top with Grandpa Einstein here. You see, I was experimenting and made the groundbreaking discovery of how to create portals. It's taken me years, but I think we got it to run now. Isn't it incredible? An incredible mess. Just looked at this place. Yeah, it is kind of a mess, Rusty. What, the park? Oh, yes. Mm. It might be in a mild state of discombobulation. Oh, no. Oh, no. The mayor, she's been telling me for ages if I don't get the park cleaned up, she'll close down this eyesore of a place and we'll have the land seized. I got so distracted by the portal, I totally forgot. There's no way I can clean all this in time. The extent of disrepair is truly pervasive. Have you considered splicing local space time with a spatial temporal alternate re reality device? They say what now? It's simple. When quantum string vibrate in phase with disturbances in the microwave background radiation, Whoa, slow down. I don't, uh, my grandchild here doesn't understand what you're saying. I'm so sorry. My apologies. Let me start over. It fixes things that are broken. Ah, thank you for us laymen out there. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. I'd like to buy three. Do you accept credit card? That won't be necessary. I possess the knowledge and equipment required to assemble it for free from parts I have seen laying around your property. Well, thanks, Rusty. He's going to put that together right quick for us, I'd imagine, and pop back here, I'd imagine. There he is. All right. Ooh, it looks like a washing machine to me. I don't know. Excellent. Now we have need. Uh, now we only need sufficient energy to operate the machine, like electricity. Yes, but something more powerful, like happiness crystals. They're the greatest source of energy I've s encountered in on my travels. Hap what? Please explain. These crystals generate in local space-time wells when the mean karmic positive delta exceeds the whatever that value of. Rusty, we've been over this. I don't know those words. Uh, I mean, my grandchild can't understand a thing you're saying. I will simplify. Step one, we help people to make them happy. Step two, happiness crystals appear. Step three, we fix the theme park. Step four, everybody is happy and we go out for ice cream. That sounds like a pretty good time to me. 
My reading tells me there are several locations where people will need help soon. The first one is at the coordinates, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what measurements you use. Is that far away? Considerably so. If only we had a portal. Well, Grandpa, coming in clutch. What? Yes, indeed. A portal would do the trick. See, I knew it would be useful. I will hack into your portal and set everything up. Next destination, a bunch of numbers, pound sign. That portal's gonna spin up and oh, that green branch popped out. Appears to be some kind of jungle. So you'll go off and collect some happiness crystals and we can clean this mess? Precisely. Well then, off you go. Well, thanks, Grandpa. Uh, can we interact with uh, whatever the heck this thing is? Let's, let's see what Rusty has to say. It needs power, as I said. Okay, Grandpa, what do you have to say? All right, you two, what are you waiting for? Off to the jungle. Well, I think that's a good place to stop here in the Lego Brick Tales. I'm enjoying this. I think we'll keep playing this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming if you've enjoyed this great content and when you want to get it on time and in an orderly fashion. Let me, you know, leave me a comment down below on anything, whether it be this or some other video game you want to see me play. You know, any and all would be appreciated. If not, I'll see you guys in the next Lego Brick Tales video.